Hello fellow collectors and die cast enthusiasts. What is good? I hope everybody is well and let me tell you what is good at DNC Diecast. Today we have a haul of 2022 Hot Wheels B and C case goodies to look at. Let's take a look at all we found and see what it's all about. All right, let's get right to it and see what we got from our big haul at Target. First off, we found the Hot Wheels Tour Bus, Batman style. Nice, huh? What do you think? We haven't seen the Tour Bus around in, since 2008, so I was really psyched to find this one, especially with Batman on it. Let's take a closer look at this model. There's the model, there's the card art. Now, what I find interesting about this is you don't often see Batman with a firearm. And there he is, indeed, with a firearm. Pretty cool. I love the card art here. Kind of that uh, Batman dark noir, as it were. What do you think? There's the tour bus, Batman deco. This thing is all metal and all heavy. There's the back, plenty of back detail. There's the side with the Batman card art, and here is the front. I believe the last time we saw the Hot Wheels tour bus, it was in a Gulf or Sunoco deco and part of a NASCAR set, if I remember correctly. Uh, it was 2008. That was a while ago. But still, number four or five from the Hot Wheels Entertainment set. And these are the models that are included in that set. Freeze your screen if you want to take a closer look. Nice. Pretty good set. All right. And next we found, in that same set, the Hulk cool combi from DC Comics. How cool is that? Anytime you find a cool combi, it's a good deal. Number two of five. Card art looks absolutely amazing. How cool is that? There's the model. Close up. There's the rear. There's the side. And there is the front. How cool is that? Hot Wheels, cool combi, Hulk style. Oh, pardon me, not Hulk, Green Lantern. I don't know why I said Hulk. It is definitely Green Lantern. I apologize. Yep, there is the Green Lantern ring on top. Pretty cool, huh? Not bad. Now, I can tell you this. When you go to look for this set, you will definitely be able to find the cool combis, but it'll be much harder to find this one. There seem to be only one in a case, and at least two to maybe three in a case of the Green Lanterns. Well, good luck. Let me know what you find. Nice. Now, let's get on to the main lines and see what we found. And from the C case, let's start off with the Dodge Van. Nice. Not the Super, but still pretty cool nonetheless. And it looks pretty good in purple. What do you think? There's the card art, number six of ten, from the, what set is this? Hot Wheels Metro. And here is the model. Hot Wheels Cart Co. in purple. Not a lot of rear detail. Looks good on the side. Some decent front detail. And what appears to be a go-kart inside the van. Pretty cool. Nice. What do you think? Believe me, you, this looks better in person than it will on camera. And you are going to love it when you find it. The Dodge Van. One of Ryu's rides. Awesome. And next we found the new edition of the 21 Bronco. 21 Ford Bronco, that is. From the Mud Stunts edition, which is a new sub-edition from Hot Wheels, if I'm correct. If I'm not correct, please, co please correct me in the comments. But I believe this is new. Indeed. Not the casting, but indeed the Mud Stunts. <clears throat> Pretty cool, though. I like it. Looks like it's got some mud splotches in the paint, muddy tires, there's the rear, the side, the top, and the front. Looks pretty good. And there's the card art, which looks absolutely awesome. Pretty cool, guys. Let me know what you think of this casting in the comments. I think it's pretty nice. I like this new Ford Bronco from Hot Wheels. I think it's a nice addition to the mainline lineup. Next, we found the 16 Cadillac, pardon me, the 16 Cadillac ATS VR. Looking good in maroon. And this is from the Hot Wheels Turbo set. What do you think? Pretty cool. 
Not a lot of rear detail, which is unfortunate, especially for Cadillac. And a little bit of front detail. Not bad. Actually, the front looks pretty good, I think. And there is the top. And there is the card art. The 16 Cadillac ATS V R. Awesome. How cool is that? Let me know what you think in the comments. <clears throat> and next we found the GT Scorcher. I'm not sure how I feel about this casting just yet, but I like the color and I decided, well, let's pick it up since we're here. One of part of the Retro Racers collection and one of Ryu's rides. There's the card art. Looking pretty cool. There's the side. There's the rear, love that wing, nice, and nice. Those tires look pretty cool with this too, not bad. The GT Scorcher, Hot Wheels, awesome. Oh, and just in case you were wondering, this is from the C-Case, oh, sorry. And next I found a new model for 2022, the Ford Mustang Mach-E 1400 in white. New model from the Hot Wheels Green Speed Collection, which, which we have now seen for at least, I think, three different cycles of Hot Wheels have had now the Green Speed. If I'm mistaken, please correct me in the comments, but I believe it's been three sets. Nice. There's the card art. There is the model. Nice. Looking good. I like that. Nice wing. Not a lot of rear detail. Not a lot of front detail. And some detail on the top. Looks like a gigantic sunroof for sure. Yeah, that's your thing. That's your thing. Not my thing, but the casting still looks pretty cool nonetheless. What do you think? You like this? Good new model? Not so much? You excited for it? Or you looking forward to something else? Let me know in the comments. Nice. And next we have the Ford Focus RS, which we have seen many times over, but never in baby blue, at least to my immediate knowledge. And this is from the Hot Wheels hatchback set. Pretty cool. I like it. <laughs> I'm not necessarily a big Ford Focus RS fan, but I think this casting looks pretty cool. There's the card art. There's the car. Not a lot of rear detail. Not a lot of front detail. This is what you call a basic model. And you got the rally stripe on top and a little bitty wing. Nice. <laughs> Not bad at all. The Ford Focus RS from the seat case. Pretty cool. Let me know. Are you going to pass on this or are you going to pick this up? I say pick it up. Looks pretty cool. Whoops. No video would be complete without me dropping cars and right on cue. And next we have the Volkswagen Beetle. And I love a good Volkswagen Beetle, and this one looks pretty cool. I really like the wood paneling on this one. I think that's a nice touch. You don't see that very often. And this is from the Compact King subset, number two of five. Looks pretty awesome in metallic blue. Like it. There's the car art. There is the model. There is the rear. Side. Front. In the top. Again, I think it looks pretty cool with wood paneling. What do you think? Would you rather all blue or is the wood paneling something that interests you? And does have a chrome base, not metal. Unfortunately, those days have passed for this casting, evidently. But still, pretty cool. The Volkswagen Beetle from Hot Wheels. Awesome. Do you ever have too many Beetles in your set? <coughs> I don't think so. I really like Beetles and I like collecting them. Anyways, next we have the 19, 19 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT in Borla Deco. Straighten this out a little bit. There we go. What do you think? I like it. I'm a big fan of this casting, so I was going to pick it up whatever color or deco it has. And this is from the Baja Blazer set, number 7 of 10. Nice. There's the rear. There's the side. There's the front, and there is the top. What do you think? Oh, and there is the card art. Pretty cool. Nice. And this is from the B case. Cool. What do you think? You're going to pick it up or you're going to pass? Let me know in the comments. Pretty cool, though. Either way, I say pick it up. 
but ultimately the decision rests with you. And next, my friends, we have the McLaren F1 GTR. I think this model is, in this casting has been something we've all been looking forward to. I know I have, and I have a feeling you have too. This is from the Retro Racer set, number three of 10, and it looks pretty awesome in teal. There's the card art, looking good. And here is the model. Do you ever have too many McLaren F1s? I say no. If only it had more rear detail, but it does not. But that wing looks cool, does it not? I think it does. Nice, huh? That's the front detail, and there is the top. The McLaren F1 GTR, looking good in teal. Awesome. I know you'll pick this one up, so I don't even need to ask. How cool is that? Nice. And, if you're wondering, this is from the C case. Nice. And always good to see this one back, in case you didn't get one last year, which became kind of a hard truck to come by last year to some extent. Not for me particularly, but for quite a few other people. And the return of the Tesla Cybertruck. Nice. Still looks good. I believe this is the exact same model with no changes from last year. I may be mistaken, and if I am, please, Correct me in the comments. This is number 5 of 10 from Hot Wheels Hot Trucks. There we have the model. There is the card art. Very similar to last year. Looks good. No rear detail. Well, a little bit. There's the, I guess it's a large stoplight. And there's the side. There's the front. And there is the top. Looking clean and looking awesome. So, in case you missed out last year, you have another chance in... The C case. Cool. Well, hopefully it's in the D case too, so you'll have two opportunities to get it. Nice. Still looks good. One of the best new models of 2021, without a doubt. Didn't do too well in the Lamley Awards, but still, awesome truck nonetheless. And next we have the 67 Ford GT40 MK6. I believe it's 6. Can't really remember my Roman numerals too well, but I believe this is 6. What do you think? Golf Deco Retro Racer set. Pretty nice. Anything with the Golf Deco is awesome. And this is awesome. There's the card art. There's the model. Nice. Not a lot of rear detail. I like the lenses there for front detail. Looks good. Golf Deco all around. Orange stripe at the top. Number nine. Pretty awesome, huh? And a solid blue base. Cool. Pretty awesome, guys. What do you think? I know you're going to grab this one and gobble it up, so I won't even ask. Looks pretty good, though. Highly recommend it. And this is from the C case. Cool. And next we have... <clears throat> now, this one I was really looking forward to. I saw a couple of people on YouTube that had found it, and I was very glad to get my hands on one finally. The 87 Ford Sierra Cotsworth. Pretty cool. I'm so glad to have it in hand finally. Looks better in person than it did on camera. And I can tell you when you find it, you're going to be excited. New model for 2022, part of the Retro Racer set, number 1 of 10. Can't wait to see the recolor on this as well. Nice. There's the card art. Cool. There's the model. Awesome. Nice wing. No rear detail, unfortunately. <coughs> And a little bit of front detail, which is, eh, we'll take whatever we can get in the $1 range. And the Hot Wheels deco on top, Mattel deco on the hood. That's pretty awesome. Look kind of like Mattel rally style car. Awesome. 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 I won't even ask because I know you're going to pick this up. And I think sooner rather than later, this will probably be a super treasure hunt as well. But more on that later. And next we have... The 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser Triassic or Triassic 5. <coughs> I love me a good gasser, but I'm not sure if I love this one. I think I would call this JAG, just another gasser. I would really love to see these gassers in without so much of the uh, deco on the side, more of a solid stock color. Maybe a solid black, solid gray, eh, just something solid in the, in the main line. But this is still not bad, and I know everybody will pick this up. Anyways, 
the 55 Bell Air Gasser. There's the card art, 43 of 250, and this is part of the Chevy Bel Air set, number two of five. No rear detail. Hmm, the standard front detail. And what I really don't like is the green glass. But, you know, you can't have it all for a buck. But still, pretty cool model nonetheless. And if you were a Gasser fan, this is a must have. No ifs, ands, or buts. 55 Bel Air Gasser, Hot Wheels. Nice. <coughs> Pardon me. And next we have one of my favorite castings of all time, the 70 Chevelle. Looking good in maroon. And this is from the Hot Wheels Contoured set. And let's take a look, closer look. There's the card art. There is the model. 70 Chevelle. Nice. Nice. Cool. And there is the top. What do you think? Will you pass on this, or will you take this American Muscle Gem home? Hot Wheels Contour. I can't wait to see what else is in this set. This is number three of five. But whatever is in this set, they're off to a good start with a 70 Chevelle. Awesome. And this is from the Seacase. Cool. And next we found one of my personal favorites, the 94 Bugatti EB110SS, looking hot in canary yellow. How awesome is that? We saw it in baby blue and now green canary yellow. <coughs> and I can only assume that this too will be a super treasure hunt sooner rather than later. Pretty awesome. There's the card art. Some close up of the car. For Bugatti. Awesome. And Bugatti gets rear treatment, of course. Nice. And a cool wing. And some lens detail there for the front. Nice. And there is the top. Cool. You know, Bugatti got a little extra treatment as well it should. And I know you guys will pick this up. This is awesome. Nice. Do you ever have enough Bugattis in your collection? The answer to that, definitely no. And this is a must have for sure. Awesome. All right. Where are we now? All right, now we have the Nissan R390 GTI, looking good in white. This car has had all stock colors so far, and I couldn't be more excited about that. And this is from the Hot Wheels Turbo Set, number 410. Another one of Ryu's rides. A excellent tribute to Ryu Asada. There's the Carter. There's the model. Nice close-up. Plenty of rear detail. Wow all decked out in back there it looks good plenty of front detail too wow this is a good looking model guys very good looking indeed and there is the top this is a must-have the nissan r390 gti awesome awesome you're gonna love it when you find it and next we have Wow, this is pretty cool, and I can tell you this, there weren't many of these floating around when we found, this was in the B case. This is the 1970 Pontiac Firebird. What do you think? Yeah, pretty awesome. If you like American Muscle, this is gonna be right up your alley, and this was definitely right up my alley. Nice, from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage set, and the Legends Tour winner. Awesome. <coughs> Pardon me. There's the card art. New model for 2022. Great way to start. Look at that and looking good in white. Got some rear detail. Nice. Not much in the front detail, but the blown engine looks good. And how awesome is that? Card art is awesome too. Nice, nice, and nice. You're gonna love this when you find it, and I can tell you there aren't many of these in the cases, so grab them fast, because if you don't, the scalpers will. Nice. And in case you're wondering, that was found in a B case. Cool. And next we have one of my personal favorites, the 73 BMW 3.0 CL CSL race car from the Retro Racer set. Not the Super, but still, looks pretty good as is what do you think nice there's the car art there's the model 
Nice. Dillstein, Castro. I like that. Yellow, black, and red. Don't see those colors too often on the BMW. I think that's pretty interesting. Not a lot of rear detail. Some side detail. Oh, the front looks okay. And there is the top. 73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car. Awesome. Nice. Again, the Super would have been nicer, but we'll take what we can get. It's been so long since we've seen anything on the pegs. I was just grabbing away. And also on the pegs was the Barbie Dream Camper back for round two. Barbie Dream Camper speaks for itself, and if you are a Barbie collector, this is a must-have. And then if you're just a regular die-cast collector, this is a very unique add to your collection, without a doubt. And I believe it has a special feature, which is the side flow folds down. Okay, and this is also from the C-Case. There's the card art. Barbie, I don't know who her friend is. I have no idea who that dog is. If you know, let me know in the comments. And here is the Barbie Dream Camper. Green interior. It's good on the side. Plenty of detail on the front. And not so much detail on the back. But still, it's Barbie. It is what it is. The Barbie Dream Camper. Awesome. And I believe this is the last car, but I think we saved the best for last. New model for 2022, the 20 Toyota Tacoma. How awesome is that? Yeah, right? That is about as awesome as it gets. This is a good looking model. The 20 Toyota Tacoma. Nice. There's the card art. Looks good. Number four out of ten, and this is the Hot Wheels Hot Truck set. Plenty of rear detail, as well it should, for a first edition. A side. Plenty of front detail. This is about as good as it gets for the $1 mainline, guys. And this looks awesome. I believe this is the star of the show, and I believe this will be the hardest model to find. Out of the, what case was this? C case. Definitely going to be the hardest model to find. How awesome is that? Nice. Nice, nice. What do you think, guys? What was your favorite model out of all of these? Please let me know in the comments. There are too many models here for me to even consider which is my favorite, as I think I was just so happy to see cards on the pegs after forever of nothingness. So <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I think I'm still speechless from seeing all these cards on the pegs after having it, after having had it been so long since we'd seen any cars so i will leave it at that whoops losing some cars i will leave it at that and i want to say thank you and hello to all the new subscribers thank you for giving the channel a chance and to all of you who've been here i appreciate you and i hope that you stick around the best is yet to come we've got a lot more to show in the coming weeks everybody please like and subscribe and take care and we'll see you soon